Don't expect to make a difference unless you speak up for yourself. How do you feel about that? I agree with you. It is so true. Usually, coaches are reserved for the playing field, but at Douglas School in Leesburg, Virginia, reading teachers are taking on a new name. I don't have them just sit and read. I do a lot of um, shared readings and read alouds and things like that. Maribeth Miller is a literacy coach at the Douglas School. The studies show kids spend about 24 hours a week viewing TV, so she is encouraging her students to hit the books. Once they start reading, um, some of them have found an escape, and it's a way for them just to get away. The books do something that television doesn't, that movies don't, that a job doesn't. This room used to be fairly loud, but today it's pretty quiet because it serves as a library, and it has since the beginning of the school year. This library holds about 4,000 books, and the number will likely go up as the school receives more funding. Douglas School is an alternative school that gives a second chance for students that had trouble in their other school. We're looking for students who are going to respond to a smaller, more personalized environment. Class sizes range from 8 to 15 students, providing a home-like atmosphere. Uh, we have time to get to them so that they are not being ignored by seven teachers a day or four teachers a day. Each teacher has the time to relate with the kids. Here, the science teacher takes her class outdoors to conduct research. I think interactive learning is the best mode of learning because it's a hands-on approach and it really helps them actually remember and apply what we're doing in class. Outside, they bored into trees and took core samples to determine the tree's age. Douglas has a 98% pass rate and is embedded in every high school. The students take classes at Douglas, but it will appear as if they were attending their home school. We can um, build a relationship between one staff member and a student that we've hooked them, that we've got them. And we're going to be able to make those changes and turn those students around to, to, uh, to be productive learners and to be ready for life after high school. And relationships are exactly what they are building. I always describe it as being in the trenches with the students. It's the best opportunity for me so far in my life. I actually have a shot to go to college. With the help of a school library and a silent sustained reading program, the faculty shows that reading is fun. It just makes my day because I have had a lot of students come to me and say, Mrs. Miller, I've never read an entire book before. And um, when they look at me and say, I read my first book, you know, that's, that's what makes it. Posted on the wall, a quote from Frederick Douglass says, Once you learn to read, you will be forever free. Lindsay Flaherty reporting.